there really seems to be in our, in our culture and our society a suspicion toward one another. You can go out and, and be around other people and yet be all alone because everyone's in their own little shell. Breaking that ice can be very difficult. And we weren't meant to live like this. God created human beings to live in a family, to live in a community. And the brokenness of sin separates that and breaks that. I've been to Lutheran churches, which they're very, they don't greet you or there's no greeter. Or no one actually like goes out of their way to talk to you. And like the first person I met was Bev and I got a hug the first day, which was a little bit awkward, but you know, every time I see her now, it's normal. And There, there really is a, a true sense of, of community here in this congregation that you don't always find. It's just the people. You really feel like you're part of the church the minute you walk in. It doesn't matter, you know, any of your background at all. At Grace, we've got business leaders and we've got homeless people. We've got lifelong members in their 80s and 90s worshiping right next to those who are just beginning life. It is a warmth of ancient liturgy, of timeless Christianity brought to today's Tulsa. In this fragmented society where everyone's separated and doing their own thing, God in the liturgy is taking all these disparate ages, these, these differing ages, and all these broken people, all of us, and making us uh, united through His Word. Oh, Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities, with which I have never offended you, and justly deserve your temporal and eternal life. Grace is, is very different, and sometimes it's a shock for people when they come in. It's kind of weird at first. I didn't have a religious background at all growing up. I had grown up in a more contemporary type of service. So it was quite different for me personally. Sometimes uh, traditional worship, liturgical worship can seem you know, almost confining, that it, that it um, could be inauthentic for some people to, uh, to be forced to respond a certain way or all at the same time together. But, but what often happens is that it's actually very freeing because it doesn't depend on our feelings at the moment. You actually open up a hymnal and look at the liturgy, I would say 90% of it is literally words of the Bible. Scripture is not just knowledge. Scripture is something that makes alive and makes us alive. His word does what it says. When it says that, that we're forgiven, we are forgiven. When it says that we're a new creation in Christ, we are a new creation in Christ. When I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, church. And then after church, I'm like, I'm glad I did that. It's not dependent upon our own feelings or our own experience or, or how we feel about it because, because it's God who is, is doing the work in Grace Lutheran Church. Amen. For many people, it's a refreshing kind of shock. It was a divine inspiration for me, not only the liturgy, but the church, uh, the way it looked, it all matched. I like it. I like the style of this church. We also emphasize that the sacramental presence of Jesus Christ. In many of our churches in the United States, the focus is essentially on what can I do to do something good for God? Am I worshiping hard enough? Am I believing hard enough? Is my life cleaned up enough? When you step into the environment at Grace, you immediately sense that you are stepping into a different world. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. We don't go to church to give something to God. God doesn't need anything. He's got everything. Now we go to church to receive God's gifts of word and sacrament. Knowing that uh, Christ is present, again, it's just awesome for me. It's a completely different paradigm. 
it creates ties. Even, even when we you know, kind of resist that, God kind of breaks through that by giving us you know, himself in the sacrament. He's doing the same thing to that person sitting right next to you. And it, it opens your eyes to see, you know, I'm not in this by myself. You're surrounded with a community of people that are very caring about what happens to you when you go outside the doors of this church. They're with you all week. It's not just on Sunday. I was really sick a couple of years ago, and people brought me food and took care of me. And I don't have family here in town, but I have my Grace family, and I was well taken care of. You don't get that in your workplace, and you don't get that in all churches, but here at Grace, it's very special, and I've never seen a church like it, truly. Something is happening here that, that doesn't happen in the concert hall, that doesn't happen you know, in their living room, that doesn't happen really anywhere else in the world. Worship is reverent. You really feel like, from the entire congregation, like it matters. It's not just, you know, what, what we feel or what the pastor feels. It's, you know, it, it has a history to it. So we're not there to put on a performance. We're there for, you know, we're there for God. It's just very, I feel like it's very humbling. You know, Grace Lutheran Church is, is a place full of sinners. It's a real place, it's not a perfect place. Grace Lutheran is, it's a beautiful mess. It's a, it's a mess because, because we all come from different directions and we're, we're, we're messy people and we step on each other's toes, we get in each other's way. But it's also beautiful because that presence of, of Christ and His Word and Sacrament is there and it forgives us and it allows us to see each other not for their social standing, not for their economic standing, but we see each other as people redeemed and, and forgiven by Jesus Christ. For me it was like a ta-da moment, you know. I'm supposed to be here. This is where I'm supposed to be. I prefer the consistency now. I think now when we go somewhere else, it's very odd. <laughs> I mean, it feels right here. I guess that's the better word. Man, we live in Spalpa, so we drive 30 minutes to come all the way over here. I really love it here. You know, it's, it's worth it, the drive to us. I mean, we didn't even feel the need to look anywhere else. I'm home when I'm here. Maybe they really did know what they were doing. Our daughter would like us to move to Kansas to be with them, but the main reason for a lot of move is Christ Church.